try to take one of these ASICs off and show you with the hot air gun. I'm going to use rosin flux. Some people like to use no, uh, no clean, but these guys are a little stubborn, so we're just going to apply some liberally here. Get this hot air gun going. Scissors. Alright, so I got it going. Wait until it gets to temp. Still go at 420 and 55 flow. You can probably get away with 400, but these guys, they've been sitting around <laughs> in a warehouse, these S9s, so just want to show you how to take one of these ASICs off. So wait for those pins to get nice and hot, or uh, molten hot. Well, they're getting hot, but right, we're looking for a shiny on these pins on the outside. And the ASIC to shine up for me. And, uh, yeah, it's another reason why I don't use these hot air guns. It blows all these little small capacitors and resistors off. It just gets nasty really quick. There she goes. Oh, had her. Oh, she's off. It's epoxy holding it. All right, got her. All right, and we're gonna place that on a heat resistant. Uh, I think so. All right, ASIC off. Let's take a look at the pad. See how they're shining up again. That was a lot of heat. Um, I think the problem is this epoxy right here was just holding on to dear life, and I couldn't really get a grip on it you know what I mean but usually I try to lift it straight up with a hot air gun but uh, yeah this is just an alternative method if you don't a lot of people don't have the heavy-duty soldering iron so I'm gonna clean her up and we're gonna put her back on and I'll show you that all right we're gonna try with a clean one here I'm gonna heat up the pads a little bit first Some shiny. I'll try the drop technique. I'm not really a fan of it, but I'll give it to it. Alright, we can work with it still here. <laughs> I'm knocking all these capacitors out. I'm gonna cool down for a second. Yeah, that can't keep flying. That's okay, easy fix. Contact, and yeah, she's on there. Ain't going nowhere. So that's good. So I just wanted to show you that. Another one without the epoxy. We hope you found this content helpful. If you did, please consider sharing and liking this video to help train and support our industry. Your engagement helps us reach more technicians, enthusiasts, ensuring the valuable knowledge is spread throughout the community. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming content, where we'll continue to provide in-depth demonstrations and insights into the ASIC repair and diagnostic industry. Thank you for watching, and happy repairing. May your repairs be swift, and your mining profitable.